Hi Quilty Quilters, I'm Candace Murray with Quilt Studio 940. In this video, I'm going to show you how to piece together one of the feathers in Mr. Fancy Feathers plumage. I'm going to give you some great tips on how to fold the paper and save a ton of fabric. Stay tuned. To get started, I've cut out my little feather here. This is one of the side feathers. And I've folded the pattern inward on the gray sew line. Okay. Now we're going to start with section one, placing our first fabric down. I used some double sided tape to hold it in place while we sew down sections number two and three. This double sided tape will cling to the paper instead of the fabric. We press our fabric down, turn it over, and we can see the paper is covering the fabric. Cut our quarter inch seam allowance. Now it's time to lay down fabric number two. Okay, this one has cute little owl faces on it, and I want my owl face in the center of my feather. So see, when I'm folding it on the sew line, it's exactly where the fabric needs to lay. It does the math for me. So you don't have to sew at any kind of crazy angle, it's done. See, and now I can look under my paper and see where my face is laying. And I want it centered up, so I'm just gonna do this a couple of times. Look and move, look and move, until I get my owl head exactly where I want it. Now, once I've got my owl head centered, I would probably pin and then take it over to the sewing machine, but I uh, couldn't find my pins, so I'm just going to pinch it and move it. Now we're going to sew on the gray sew line. Sew, sew, sew. I do not tie on before or after because those are seams we're all going to go over when we add more feathers. Okay, so here I've got it sewn. I don't have to look. I know it's lined up perfect, and I'm gonna cut my quarter inch seam allowance. And now we need to press this seam open before we trim around the pattern piece. See, look at that, right where I wanted it. Now we're going to trim here. Some of the larger pieces I do like to save because I might be able to use them later. And yeah, I use my rotary blades longer than I should. Boom, boom. Awesome sauce. See that? Look at my little owl face. Okay, now let's do this again with the blue. Uh, the blue is less pertinent. There's no pattern on it that I need to account for. It's just a solid. But if I cut this just right, I might can get two, maybe even three pieces of feather right from this little square of blue. Okay, so I've got my pattern folded. Where it's folded on the sew line is exactly where the fabric needs to lay. Okay, so you see how I had it folded and then I opened it up. That's my sew line. Okay, again, yeah, no pins, so pinch and move. Straighten everything up. Sew exactly on that line and don't be afraid to rip. <laughs> no regrets. I don't even check the fabric because I know it's going to match perfect, trimming off my quarter inch seam allowance. Now let's press that seam open. Shocker, it lines up again. 
I like to use another piece of double-sided tape here just to hold my feather in place. Oh, my fabric. It's not a feather yet. There we go. Just trimming up those last little edges. You can wait to trim to the very end. It's, it's really just whatever your preference is. I like to trim as I go. And voila, here he is, our big feather. I hope this video helps you piece together your fancy feathers.